Good day, guys. How are you going? Well, I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about um, the uh, KTM MyRide app. It is the most amazing navigation app for motorbike travelling from um, adventure riding that I can see. I also have used Reva, which is um, used by the BMW guys, and um, it's nowhere near as good as this, and I'll show you why that is in a minute. I'm running two of them in parallel. So what I'm going to show you now is we're going to, I'm going to create a route um, through the forestry and up through some bush where I live because, um, and we're going to use turn by turn navigation which can be put onto the um, head unit of the bike, of course. Um, so where this differs from Reva and the other ones is that this one or out will allow you to use turn by turn on the route that I create. On Reva, it doesn't work. If you t use turn by turn navigation on Reva, it won't follow the route that you've created. It'll do like Google does and just do the, the shortest track and it will be the highway normally, which is no good. It's not what we want. We want to be able to follow the track that we create and we want the turn left, turn right, 200 metres, so on and so on, coming up on the display on the bike of where we've created the track. So let's get to it now and I'll show you what, how to do this in a basic form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my start point. Now my start point, I know how to get to the gravel. So I'm going to choose it on a map. So I'm going to zoom out here and I know that my gravel is, you have to wait a little while, she struggles a bit, here we go. So my gravel starts way down on the highway. So if I get to Pongakawa, which is, this is New Zealand, by the way. So we want to come up Benner Road. So Benner Road is way down here. So I'll just get, bear with me until I find Benner Road. This, this is the highway, this, that's highway number two. Benner Road is one of these ones. Pacific Highway, what's that one? Pukahina. No, Benner Road's back further from that. Here we go, here's Benner Road. So I'm going to start here. So the idea is I want to actually draw, navigate all the way... Oh, you can't see my finger. <laughs> I'm showing you, I'm pointing where my finger is, but you can't see that, so that's no bloody good, is it? Useless bastard. So now, what I'll do is I'll put a point on the map here. I'm pushing on the, on the map here, and I'm going to say that's a destination. So what it's going to first do is it's going to actually navigate from where I am to here as a start point, which is not what I want, but I'll do that. Okay, so we'll create the first route, but I don't really want that. So what we'll do now is I'll then go and I'll click on the three dots in the top right corner here. I'll turn off avoid highways and I'll turn off avoid unpaved roads because we want to go on the gravel, right? So now... I'll go up the top here to add waypoint there, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift in a road up, see these three, these three lines here, you can click on here and drag upwards, and then I'm going to add another waypoint, okay, below that. So I'll choose on map, so I'll come down here, and I can see that down this road, my next, so I'm going to follow this road down, if you look at the screen, in the centre of the screen the road goes down, 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 and then it comes to an intersection here, Benner Road and Old Coach Road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my next point on Benner Road, on Old Coach Road here, just there, okay? So the idea is it's going to navigate down Benner Road, turn left onto Old Coach Road. So I'll set a waypoint, tap on that. Now what I'll do is I'll delete the first start waypoint, which is 6 Hayward Court. So I'll cancel that. Gone. So now if we have a look at our route, route preview, it will only show from here downwards. There's the alternate one to the left of it. That's not what we want. You see what it's done? So it starts now on the, the main highway. So it's forgotten about where I am now. It's going to start from the highway. And then this is basically, well, it's still sealed, but it's going to be gravel shortly. So now, I'm going to now add another waypoint. So I'm going to add another one, add another waypoint, choose on map. And I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to stick it right here, just past this intersection. 
on here. Okay, so then it will set that waypoint. Then I'm going to add another one, choose a waypoint. I'm going to come way up right away through the road. Way up here, way up here, way up here. Past Johnson Road. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's a long way up here. Keep going, keep going. This is all sealed road. Now, that's not what I want to do, I don't think. That Pukawini Road, no, it's a non, non exit one. The next road I want to turn into is Pongakawa Valley Road. That's the one there. So, I'm now going to put another point here at this intersection. So, we'll come up Radoehu Road and then turn left into Pongakawa Valley Road, set waypoint. Now, I'm just going to do a route preview here and just check it to see if it works. Yep, that's working fine, see? So we've left Pongakawa, which is right at the top of the screen where the little orange doodaki thing is. That's the highway, the main highway, and that's where we're starting from. And then we're coming down, this is all Radoehu Road, which is actually still sealed. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to add another waypoint. We're going to follow this road around here to the right on the screen. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to go add another waypoint. Add a waypoint, choose on map, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to follow this road around here, around here, around here. Now, this, now I'm going to turn left into Hamilton Road. Now this blimmin' Hamilton Road, I'll tell you, it's like a bush track. It's, it's not like, an, you could, can't get a car down it, <laughs> we'd get four-wheel drive, probably. But, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to turn left into here, so I'm going to set that waypoint. Then I'm going to add another one. Set a point, and I come along Hamilton Road, Hamilton Road, Hamilton Road, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way along Hamilton Road, and then we're going to turn left onto Manawa Hay Road, which is actually a sealed road again. So I'm going to put another one there, set waypoint, poof. Now I'm going to review it. So I'll do route review just to make sure it's all looking good. Yeah, it is. See, so that's all looking magic. Okay, so now we're going to Add another waypoint, add another waypoint on map, and we're going to carry on along Manawa Hay Road. Manawa Hay Road, Manawa Hay Road. And then we're going to keep going, I think, on Manawa Hay Road until we get to. I'm going to find it. This is where I get a bit lost. I don't quite know where I am at this point. It's a bloody long way up this Manawa Hay Road. Is that up there? Oh, Pukiti Road. Right. I'd like to pause you guys at the moment, but I don't quite know how. So, I'm going to jump back now into Reva, because in Reva, which is where the original track was. So I'm going to just look and see what road I'm supposed to be looking for. Hamilton Road, Hamilton Road, Hamilton Road. And Hamilton comes out onto Manawa Hay Road, we know that much. Manawa Hay goes, oh yeah, it goes all the way up around there. Manawa Hay, Manawa Hay, Manawa Hay, Manawa Hay. Aha! Turns left into, what the hell does that say? Oh, Rendell Road. Okay. And that should come down onto the highway, I think. And then that's it. That's all I need to do. The rest of it. All right, then we go again. Okay. So, I'm just going to pause you and see what see if I can do that. Now, a good thing um, to do is also save as you go. So I've sort of carried on here, so I didn't um, have, because it would be a bit boring for you watching me do all this, because you guys can do this yourselves for your own tracks. It just takes a while, but you've got to go point by point, putting in the waypoints as you go. Anyway, I'm almost here now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, carry on, so I'm going to add another couple of waypoints. And I'm ending up, this is all gravel roads, 
we, my mate Rick and I did this a while ago just to check it all, see how it all goes, and it's simple as, but it's a lot of gravel, and um, so I'm just going to put another waypoint there, check the route, and that's correct, so I've come all the way from over here onto the left, Pang, Pongakawa, come up in the road, around past the lakes, this is all gravel through here, keep going through Kaurau, to Teco, and then down to Taniatua, and then I've come, which is Sealed Road, and then I'm going to turn left into Stanley Road and come up, this is all gravel up here. And then the idea is we're going to a project, well, we're actually going way past the project here, we're going down the Motu River Road, down to Gisborne, and then back up the Cape, East Cape. But anyway, long story short, so this is going, I'm just going to carry on here, I'm just going to add a few more in, so I'm going to go to, the, this is the highway, that Wainui Road is the road between um, a Hoki and a Podiki. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to go all the way to a Podiki, which is along the coast here, and in theory I should, that will do me for this one, because the Motu Road just starts just after a Podiki. So I'll just stop here somewhere in a podiki in the township itself, set this waypoint. Now I'll check the route and see if it does the entire thing for me, which it has. So it starts over here at Pongakawa and comes all the way, as I said, up Pongakawa Valley Road, Road of Ehu Road, round past Lake Road of Ma, Lake Road of Ehu, around the back of those lakes, gravel to Teko. Turning out to it, blah blah blah, through the gravel, across to the Pacific Coast Highway, and into a podiki. Now, I'm going to save that, so I'm going to three dots in the top right corner. So we'll look at this page, you've got add a waypoint, which is what I've been using. Turned off, avoid tolls, avoid highways, and avoid unpaid roads. Quickest route, shortest route, and I'm going to go save. Save, and it's going to say what name do you want to give it. Give it. This time I'm going to call it Ponga Cut. I'm just going to replace it, so I'll try and do that again. Save. This time I'll call it another name. Pong Akawa hyphen Opodiki. O P O T Opodiki. Save. Okay. So that's good. So it's going to take 2 hours and 14 minutes. It's 128 k's long. And that's awesome. So I'll go back, go back here. So what should happen now, when I exit the program, you see, the app, now I have it in the top right corner, this thing called My Trips. So I tap on that, and that's where my trips are saved. Now, the real downside to this damn program, this app, is that there's no way of actually transferring these... Um, tracks that you make between devices. Um, if you're using a Google device like a Nokia or a Motorola or anything that uses stock Android and you copy from one device to the other when you set them up, you can. It does copy the information over. This device is a Huawei. So I've come from, I've set all my tracks up on um, my Nokia device, but now when I've got this Huawei, I'm going to do it all again, which sucks really, because you've got to actually go through the whole process again. It would be a, be really good if you could just like export them or save them, to, you know, log into your account and save them. Um, and then it doesn't matter what device you have, because um, you pay, I paid $14 I think for the app, so you would expect it to be, to at least do that. So I'm going to delete this, the way I got what, see that Pongakawa, just the word Pongakawa there, see? I'm just, all, I do, all I'm doing is dragging to the left with my finger, and I'm going to delete. Because it's the same thing as Pongakawa at Podiki. So if I load that up, see? There's our whole track. The round dots are the waypoints that I put in, which I try to do them at where I turn a corner, you see? So as you're riding along, it'll say, you know, turn left, in however many minutes, and how many, if it, turn left, left in however many um, meters or kilometers, and or miles if you're in the States, 
and then it will um, it just shows you this on on the head head unit of the bike, which is unbelievable. And it talks to you in your ears. So I've got a Senna headset. Um, that's a whole different kettle of fish to talk about. That is how you connect the phone to the bike, and you connect the you connect the bike to the phone. You connect.